Hello, this is Rachel Jordan, and I thought I would just share a little bit about how I edit with the archetype process profiles. I have a session here that uh, I've already edited, and um, I thought I would just kind of re-edit a little bit of it and just kind of show you what I do. Alrighty, so we have this beautiful session on the rooftop. And, um, as you can see, it was soft, like partially cloudy light with a little bit of Papa sun. So it was perfect lighting for their little announcement. And they had like beautiful neutral clothes with a beautiful neutral backdrop. So super, super easy session to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this photo so you can see what it looked like straight out of camera. And, um... Obviously, I shot this raw. This was a 5D Mark IV with a 15 millimeter 1.2. Um, so what I like to do is I have some presets that I've already made that kind of, you know, fix some things for me. So I have my basic import preset. And what that does is it turns on the lens correction, I believe, um, as well as just kind of like preps the image um, and then I turn on my light grain skin soft um, and so that um, has to do with the detail so I have my sharpening settings how I want them a little bit of noise reduction but not too much um, definitely removing the color from the noise and then um, adding just a little bit of grain so everything's nice and soft with a little bit of grain um, and I usually also do my texture clarity in dehaze this is one of my favorite tricks um, to make something feel just more light and airy and filmy um, I usually mess with these so that's kind of like my basic starter things that I do and then I choose which profile I want and um, I have the let's see I have lots of different ones so I have um, the old uh, one click profiles as well as the Kodak and the Fujifilm um, my favorite lately has been Fortra Portra 400 normal frontier and so I'll go ahead and just apply that one and so what I found is that once I apply the profile the picture looks quite a bit darker um, so sometimes what I do is click the auto button and it kind of gets me mm, sort of what I want sometimes it doesn't always do what I want usually don't want extra saturation and I don't want that much vibrance and usually I want the photo to be quite a bit um quite a bit brighter than this so i'll bump this up click on it use the plus key until it's looking good yep that's about where i like it um i like my shadows to be pretty crisp my blacks to be pretty crisp i'm gonna go ahead hit r and crop it just make sure everything's straight and um, I think it could use even a touch more brightness so I'm gonna go go up a little ways it's probably a little too bright but with taking the shadows back out that looks pretty good so typically I'll get my first one here looking like how I want it to and then I will copy and paste that obviously um, to all of the rest of the photos so that's generally my process um, I could do that with another profile so um, let's go ahead and reset this one um, so we have straight out of camera I do my lens correction my grain and softening my texture clarity and dehaze and then let's go ahead and do um, instead of the Kodak let's do Fujifilm normal Fujifilm uh, let's see here 400 H normal frontier okay so that's like super basic um, again it got pretty dark so 
I'll do auto and kind of take that down and be like, eh, maybe don't want all of that. Sometimes auto works great and sometimes it's like not quite what I wanted. Um, so usually I can either do this part manually or just kind of eyeball it. So sometimes with the, uh, the Pro 400H, it's a little bit pinker than I like. So I'll take that one down a bit. It's also a bit cooler than I like. So we'll uh, bump that up up a little bit and there we have it that's looking pretty good straighten okay so you can see like the exact same process that i did for um this is the portra um this one didn't need much color correction i actually really liked it i might warm it up just a little bit uh straight out of camera i was using uh auto white balance on these so especially in a neutral environment like this the camera got it like pretty accurate in camera um and this one there you go and that's the fuji film so that's what um that's what i do i'm i'm enjoying the portrait profile right now if i wanted it to be punchier okay so let's let's kind of do this process with a different one um let's maybe do um a different profile that's not quite as um common so i'm gonna do my settings again there we go and i'm gonna go ahead and apply my profile should we do do um, Pro 800Z. That sounds fun. Um, I usually just do normal. The 800Zs I find to be extra pink um, and a little bit more contrasty. So... Let's kind of get the brightness where we want it. And now I'm going to go back and be like, yeah, that's a bit pink for me. Bring that back. Make it a little bit warmer. And make the blacks. There we go. Maybe turn down the highlights just a little bit. Cute! Okay, so this is what the 800Z normal looks like. This is what Pro 400H normal looks like. And this is what Portra 400 looks like. So I tend to like this profile a little bit better on um, the groom's or the, the husband's skin tone here. Um, I don't really love how pinky red the 800z made it so i'm always just looking at the skin to decide what um what profile i might like to use since i'm not always matching it to film so that's my process i hope you enjoyed have a good day